Hey guys, I just recently got my Zen Go, which is an awesome interface by Antelope. However, I wasn't able to find many useful tutorials on YouTube on how to use it. So I had a little bit of like a learning curve on using the uh, control panel. Um, so I will show you how to get started uh, really quickly and record. Maybe you want to record a clean, uh, completely dry signal and a wet signal. Or just a or just a dry signal while you monitor yourself with effects. All right. So first thing you gotta do, obviously, um, I will be recording a microphone. So I will set my. Um, these are your two um, inputs, your two preamps. Um, I have my microphone plugged into my pre my first preamp, so I will use this one. Uh, we'll change it to mic, and obviously you gotta give it some gain until you. Get the right level, right? The right levels using the meter. I will keep it down just for this, for example purposes. Um, obviously, you would turn it up so you can hear in your monitors or your headphones. Most likely, headphones if you're recording a voice. So uh, let's say I want to use um, out of tune, and uh, I want to use um, an EQ or something like that. I'll just load them up. Um, Maybe maybe you want to add some reverb as well. So I already added it right here on the first on this first channel, and I will turn it up right here. So that's awesome. I already have my monitoring um, channel, which is full of effects. But what happens if you record? If you set up your DAW to record this this one channel, if um, what happens is you record the signal but with all the effects and there's nothing you can do about it you can't change it later, later on so what you might want to do is use this as a monitoring uh, channel just to hear yourself and record through another channel through a, a clean signal a complete dry signal so what you want to do is th 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 by default this would be number two but you want to clone this signal you want to um, you have the same signal going on through through these two channels. That's that exact signal. All right. This you will leave clean. All right. This will you you will leave clean because this is what you're gonna record to get that clean signal. So we head off to our DAW. In this case, for me, is Ableton Live, and you should already have your uh, interface set up. Uh, you know, have the the drivers set up and everything, and then. If obviously if you're on Windows, go to ASIO. If you're on Mac, you go some somewhere else. In this case, for me, I'm using a Mac, um, a Windows 10 uh, computer, so ASIO, and you select the Zen Go, um, and then inputs. It should look something like that, as well as the output. And there's other options besides one and two, but let's not get there. Let's not get there too complicated right now because that gets a little more complex all right so I had two um, tracks loaded into my DAW I have a wet I, one that I label wet and one that I label dry I'm gonna show you how we can record a wet and a dry signal simultaneously all right so obviously we previously created two channels one that has effects aka wet and the other one that has no effects aka dry so what you would want to do is if you want to record a wet and a dry signal simultaneously just in case um, you would uh, on this wet channel I would select the first one which would be this one and on this dry channel I would select the second one which is has no effects on it so that way, that way, let me show you. I will be recording. Oh, sorry, I forgot to arm the other one. Control click, and you will arm both of these tracks. So you see, that way, I'm recording both signals one clean, one dry. I mean, sorry, one one dry, one when wet, and uh, you can pick if you want to use the dry or the wet one. If you 
um, whatever you want to do with them. All right. And obviously, in case if you just want to the dry one, forget about the first channel and then just keep the dry one, and just use this as a monitoring channel just to hear yourself with effects. All right. So that'll be all. Thank you for watching.